Varsity 8-4-5 football show. It's Section 9 Championship Week, and we'll take a look at each of the four finals to be played this weekend. We'll start in Class C, where number one seeded John S. Burke Catholic gets a rematch with number three Millbrook at 7 p.m. on Saturday at Middletown. The Blazers storm back from a two-touchdown deficit to win 16-14 a few weeks ago, but Burke Catholic has responded with impressive wins over Chester and Sullivan West to reach the title game. We caught up with senior Matt Cushing at practice this week to talk about his versatile role on the team. Cushing was a fullback last year, but has moved from left guard to left tackle this season to bolster Burke's offensive line. Where they need a, a learning experience, like moving from position to position. I uh, pretty much like know a lot of the offense now, and uh, it's really preparing me for like whatever I can do in the future and whatever I can do for the team. So it helped me out a lot. I think it's helped us uh, be able to move different people to different places. It's, um, it's made us better so we can put the best people on the field, best 11. I think it really was, especially after the uh, loss to Millbrook. And uh, now we have a chance to redeem ourselves after that, and I think that's helped us push through a lot. Uh, I'm definitely going to play college football somewhere. I might actually go where my brother is now at uh, Misericordia, but I'm not really sure yet. In Class B, number 2 New Paltz takes on number 4 Marlboro in an all-Ulster County showdown at 7 p.m. on Friday at Deet Stadium. New Paltz was a 34-7 winner when these teams met in Marlboro during the regular season, a win that helped the Huguenots claim a quarterfinal round by. Marlboro has beat Spackenkill and number one seeded James I. O'Neill in back-to-back weeks to reach the finals for a seventh consecutive season. New Paltz's players know a thing or two about Section 9 championship games. They were wearing their Pop Warner jerseys in the stands when New Paltz played for the title in 2007, 2008, and 2010. We caught up with some New Paltz players at practice to talk about their long-awaited dream of playing in the big game themselves. I mean, yeah, we do what we can do to just help them get all the glory, I guess. But, I mean, as a team, we're doing very well, and we're in the section championship right now, so hopefully we can advance onto the states and do what we can do there. So, I mean, everybody has their own job. You know, not every job is glorified, but um, certain ones are. Jimmy's is, you know, Berta's is. But, um... We all do our part, and that's how we've been so successful this year. Our starting defense was actually uh, all 10 of us besides Guy Suma. We all played together since 2008, so we have a lot of experience together, uh, a lot of charisma with each other. We're all, uh, we're all used to each other, so we do good. We always played Pop Warner together, and we know what it's been like going through Modify, JV, and stuff like that, and we've all played together in great chemistry between all of us offensively and defensively, and that definitely has an impact on what we've done this year. Um, this section championship has really been a goal since we've been all playing, you know, since we are little, you know, this is this is the team we knew we'd be playing since we were little kids, and this is the stage we knew we'd be playing on, so it's all kind of come together to this last game. Yeah. We, always, we always watch those varsity games and just imagine us one day being able to play on that field and being able to play for a championship, so you know, this is really a dream come true. Uh, we would always come out to the games wearing our jerseys and stuff, and we came at when we won two section championships here, and uh, it's always been a thing we've always admired and we've always wanted to do. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. There's nothing like Marlboro versus New Paltz. You know, it's one of the best games in the section. Um, we do have a lot of mutual respect for each other. You know, we have a lot of friends on the team. Um, so it's going to be a good game. We're going to have a lot of fun. Top-seeded Cornwall takes on surging number three seed Goshen in the Class A final at 7 p.m. on Friday at Middletown. The Green Dragons are heavy favorites to win a six straight Section 9 title, having topped Goshen 56-7 during the regular season. But a senior heavy Goshen roster is excited to go out and give it a go. The Gladiators, who opened the season with back-to-back -back losses, made it a goal to reach the Section 9 finals this year, and they're hoping the dream doesn't end here. Uh, I think just playing harder than we really should. Uh, along, the, along the roads, yeah, it was bumpy. It was definitely getting, getting here. Bumpy yeah, road. but we moved people around. People started stepping up, and we got here. So yeah, key positions here. started falling into play. We started blocking better. Our team just started meshing a little bit better. Made better plays. Started doing everything a lot better. Okay. 10, 15 seniors on the team that have been playing together for, I know a, a handful of those guys I've been playing with for 12 years. So mm -hmm. I think we kind of just looked at each other and said, we got to start doing something better. And we started playing better and meshing a little bit better. So. Yeah, we try to get that mentality. Why not us? You know, it's our senior year. We figured we'd be here. We wanted to be here. Yeah. Long and bumpy road, but yeah. we definitely got there. We were underdog a lot of games this year. The last two games, we were underdogs. We're predicted to win. Finally came out came and, back and did it. Yeah. Did it. Got everybody who's saying no. Now we're now they haven't said nothing. So. Section finals, first time in 11 years. 11 it's years. It's a, it's a big thing. 
and it will be a familiar matchup in Class AA as number four seed Monroe Woodbury and number two Newburgh Free Academy meet in the finals for a four straight season at 7 p.m. on Saturday at Deed Stadium. The Goldbacks are trying to win a third straight Section 9 title and beat Monroe Woodbury in the regular season. The Crusaders, however, have been riding a red hot defense to the finals. We caught up with Newburgh senior Bruno Hernandez, who was the Goldbacks' center, inside linebacker, and long snapper. Hernandez might not light up the stat sheet, but he's a solid, consistent contributor on both sides of the ball. At, after like the week, the second week, we just used it as a wake up call and just came back to practice hungry and ready to win. Like we just really wanted to win after that. It really changed the season around. Honestly, I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm happy that it happened, but it it did give us a, a like a good wake up call. It changed things around here. You know, everyone's just been playing like really, really physical. After those first two losses, everyone just wanted to be more physical. We didn't. We felt like we weren't playing physical enough how we usually played. So we just stepped that up. Monroe again, it's, it's exciting because it's like an every year kind of thing. It's that's always like the game we look forward to. That's always the game we want to win. And playing it in the finals just even better. It really brings a spark to practice playing Monroe in the finals. You know, we just have to have a really good week of practice because it's it's happened to us before where we beat them in the season and then or they beat us in the season and we can't come back and beat them in the championship so we got that in the back of our heads knowing that it can happen so we're just out here practicing getting a good week of practice so we're ready for saturday that's it for this week thanks for watching and enjoy the games for more high school sports coverage check out varsity845.com